This is a music video for Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks. But that is not Garth Brooks. And this isn't what he meant by Friends in Low Places. Then again, this isn't the official music video either. It's a karaoke music video. Yeah, Friends in Low Places seemed pretty obvious to me. It just seemed like a play on words. We'd have this little person as our Friends in Low Places for the chorus in the Garth Brooks song. That made total sense to me. That's Nori Niven, the guy who directed the video. But Nori wasn't alone in this art form. This video and many more like it came out of a wild, weird, and short-lived cottage industry that helped make karaoke a massive hit in the United States. You don't have to look very hard to find bizarre karaoke videos from the 80s and 90s, like this one for Linger by the Cranberries. It features a woman dressed head to toe in a hooded white sweatsuit running around in a park in slow motion for four and a half minutes, lingering. Or this one for Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody, in which a German officer plays air guitar on a rifle with a bayonet, which he licks. These low-budget works of art were essential for importing karaoke from Japan. It all started when Pioneer, the consumer electronics giant, introduced laser karaoke, which used laser disc technology to allow instant access to vast catalogs of videos, perfect for karaoke. Each laser disc could hold 28 karaoke videos and were sold for 150 bucks a pop. But before Pioneer could convince American karaoke bars to buy them, they needed original content. So Pioneer commissioned young film directors in New York, LA, and Dallas to produce hundreds of karaoke videos each year. They weren't the only company producing karaoke videos, but they had the highest quality. Pioneer wanted the videos to look like MTV. Unfortunately, they only gave directors 6,000 bucks to work with. For comparison, it cost Michael Jackson 150 grand to make Beat It. Some directors took the $6,000 and cut corners on production. Others, they got creative. It was a hit and run. That's how we got our location. That's Jim Garrick. He got his start in the film business by directing karaoke videos. We normally go up to these million dollar mansions and we'd run the talent up to the front door, not even tell the people were there. Basically, the adage that it's better to ask for forgiveness than for permission. It was original footage, it was cheap, and it looked professional. Kind of. Pioneer thought it was perfect and they wanted more videos as quickly as possible. had turned into like a little Andy Warhol style factory of just continuing to shoot. Not all of these videos were meant to be weird, but it became obvious that Pioneer would approve almost any concept. It didn't really matter how strange it was as long as it could be turned around in a couple of weeks. Pioneer gave young directors a sandbox to play in. And sure, like most sandboxes, a few turds snuck in there. I worked with Garth later, and, and I never mentioned that video, uh, thank God. But that sandbox was also filled with opportunity. Brian Raftery, who wrote a book on the history of karaoke, points out that Jay Roach, the director of Meet the Fockers and Austin Powers, first directed this Barbara Streisand video. And this actress from Doobie Brothers' Blackwater? That's Marty McGuire from the Dixie Chicks. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. This guy getting slapped in David Bowie's Modern Love? It's Chuck, from seasons five and six of The Wonder Years. Eventually, this beautiful moment in time came to a close when newer and cheaper DVDs pushed Pioneer's Laserdisc empire out of the spotlight. And these little artistic wonders were replaced by stock footage, black screens with scrolling lyrics, and sometimes even bootleg music videos. But before any of that happened, Pioneer empowered young, sometimes twisted directors to take their own crack at bringing popular songs to life. Like in my all-time favorite karaoke video, a very literal interpretation of the MASH theme song, Suicide is Painless. Suicide is painless. 